We went to Rambling Pines for a weekend getaway and to celebrate Sophia's birthday. The first thing we noticed on our bike ride was that there were a lot of people who had parked their campers there either for maybe the season or even year round. They had some pretty cool setups though. We stayed in that tea area which had two cabins and a handful of camper sites. It was really a perfect site. It was near all the action. We were near both the indoor and the outdoor pavilion, though the indoor was closed for refurbishment this weekend. It's near two playgrounds, the lake, which provides catch and release fishing, and the jumping pillow. It was really quite beautiful, and after biking around, I would definitely choose to stay at this site again. The second thing I noticed about this campsite is that it had multiple playgrounds. I don't know about you, but I love setting up near a playground so the kids can play within eyesight of camp. They had a really nice arc playground and several play sporadically through the entire campground. We actually had a lot of fun one day hiking the entire campground, finding each of the playgrounds. And the kids, of course, spent some time playing on each playground. CJ really loved the swing at this playground. What do you think? What's the best playground? On Saturday, the campground provided a free rock painting activity. Yeah, I like your rock. You could paint as many rocks as you wanted. It was a really nice activity for the kids and adults alike. They really enjoyed it. But their favorite activity was the jumping pillow. golf course and we were the only ones there the entire time when we went. It was a good thing because the kids had a tendency to kind of pick and choose which greens to play good job. and they had a really really good time. provided a hayride, which is always a camping classic. There are a few 
small hiking trails around the campground and we enjoyed hiking them. They also had a catch and release pond. It looked like there were a lot of people fishing down there throughout the weekend. enough activities for the kids right how about the dogs well they have an enclosed area actually two enclosed areas for playing and exercising this is the exercise area um, we were the only ones here again on Sunday morning it was really really great having the entire run to ourselves camp store was small but it had all the necessities like camp supplies or toiletries you may have forgotten they also had some ice creams they had magnets we're always collecting magnets so that was awesome a couple of toys and trinkets for the kids charcoal the bathroom was okay um, it was a little awkward because there's just two shower stalls and one shared area it'd be fine if it was all the same family and nobody came in when I was there. The site offered a fire ring and a picnic table. It had plenty of room for your entire setup. And here's a video of my husband cooking on the grill. Definitely don't recommend this grill. It's really greasy. side but it's a nice amenity to have it was super laid back and quiet lots of playgrounds great sights within eyesight of these playgrounds they had a, that awesome jumping pillow the beautiful fishing pond um, and the price is right it really was reasonable compared to a lot of places these days it did lack that like party fun atmosphere but if you're not into that it's perfect um, there were a lot of spots taken by year-long camper, campers, so it may be a little harder to get in here. The pool's small. Overall, the place is a little bit on the smaller side, um, but it was, it was just a great campground. I would totally recommend it again. 